Who needs savings when you've got instant gratification? Am I right? No, God, From a please, financial no. perspective, some people, shall we say, have some unique spending habits. But so you don't miss out on any of our penny pinching adventures, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Here are 8 things broke people spend their money on that the middle class and upper class do not. First up, lottery ticket fantasies. Instead of saving or investing, broke individuals throw their cash into the void of lottery tickets, hoping for that one in a billion chance to strike it rich. Sadly, when it comes to the lottery, poor people continue to be the biggest losers. A recent study published in the Journal of Risk and Uncertainty found that poor people spend 9%, which is about 1,100 of their income on lottery tickets. Purchasing high-end coffee daily. Who needs savings when you can enjoy that daily triple shot venti half-calf soy milk extra foam caramel drizzle latte? Because nothing screams financial stability like dropping $4 a day on lattes instead of investing in a coffee maker. Let's do the maths. Paying $4 a coffee for the work week, that's $20 a week. Weekends are another story. Per month, that's $8. And per year, that's almost $1,000. When in reality, $1,000 can get you a new fridge or a second-hand MacBook or paying for a training or a certification of your choice. Funding the broke and fabulous lifestyle. When you can eat at five-star restaurants and wear expensive knockoffs on credit, who needs savings? You might not want to admit it, but the more into fashion you are, the more likely it is that you're broke. People who are into fashion are completely content spending every last dime they have. At some point or another, we've all been there. You feel like you absolutely need that shoe in your life or that sweater. You would give your left kidney just to own it. And just as we're getting comfortable with our look, the fashion industry changes up because that's the way it works. Fast food fees. Why save money for groceries when you can indulge in a daily ritual of heartburn and regret? Despite the perception that eating out is a luxury, lower income individuals might spend more on convenience foods and fast food. In contrast, those who are wealthier are more likely to cook at home, saving money over time. Psychic Hotline Consultations or Scammers People who are in desperate situations are more susceptible to frauds and schemes that promise rapid riches or answers to their issues. Individuals who are poor could become victims of con artists who take advantage of their wish to get rich. Regretfully, these choices frequently result in even more severe financial difficulties. Credit card minimum payments. Paying just the minimum on that maxed out credit card is definitely a solid financial plan, right? Making only the minimum credit card payment every month can lead to a financial disaster. It's nice not having to pay the full tab every month and most people don't. That means a lot of persons are chasing a balance month to month. While it's important to make at least the minimum payment, it's not ideal to carry a balance from month to month because you'll rack up interest charges. Fake hair, lashes, and nails. It can be expensive to keep up a certain image, and broke people are not an exception. Although they might not seem like much at first, fake eyelashes, hair extensions, and acrylic nails pile up over time. Even those who are living paycheck to paycheck find it difficult to resist the temptation of these beauty treatments despite their financial difficulties. Owning pets they can't afford. There are costs associated with pet ownership such as food, medical care, and grooming. Sometimes those who are broke get pets without fully appreciating the recurring costs. Because of this, their animal friends could experience neglect, 
which is terrible for both the owners and the pets. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is financial freedom. But with dedication, perseverance and a solid plan, you can break free from the cycle of being broke and create the life you truly desire. So go forth and conquer your financial future. You've got this.